Yo, 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 what up, Isaac JT? It's whoa, 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 Wednesday. And Isaac, I thank you for taking the vlog on Monday. I'm dutifully doing my vlog on Wednesday. Did you know that chairs can be made uncomfortably? Or I should say repaired uncomfortably. I went and visited my family this weekend. And when I got there, there was this metal fold-out chair. Someone had fixed the back. And when doing so, they put it on backwards. I know this photo is not very good, but I didn't really take any other ones, and I thought it's really the most uncomfortable chair I have ever tried to sit in. But today, I am doing something that I do not like to do, I do not want to do, and I just think it's very terrible, but people do it all the time. I'm taking BuzzFeed quizzes. I, I don't even have words for them. They're terrible. They tell no one anything. They're kind of cool because they let people allow themselves to be in their own universes and I'm gonna be this person. This is kind of my personality. When people get who they want, it's all cool and fun, but when they get the not cool guy, everyone laughs at them. I also think it's not cool because what these quizzes do is that they encourage people to desire and be someone else as opposed to encouraging people to be themselves. I don't like like labels being placed upon me, telling me this is the person I am or should be. It seems like the hip thing to do. After I graduate school, I'm considering going to graduate school, so I took the quiz, what should you get a PhD in? And I was like, oh, it's gonna be math. Well, of course it's gonna be math. That's, that's my major in undergrad school. Turns out, they said I should get my PhD in education. I, I don't wanna get a PhD in education, so they're already shoving me into boxes that I don't think I fit in. Would you pass biology right now? I would think so. I took AP biology in high school, and I got an A+, plus, which was equivalent to 14 out of 15, which I don't don't think is an A+. Plus. Which classic female author are you? I don't really know many classic female authors. I know they exist, but I was like, I don't know. Let's, let's find out. Turns out I got Maya Angelou. What kind of bear are you? I was really hoping to get a Bruin. However, I ended up getting the American Black Bear, which is okay, I guess, because they said that I was the most American of bears. So there's not much wrong with that, I suppose. Do you win at eating? I didn't think I did, and the quiz kind of says that I don't, but and it said I've got some skills in eating, which is good to know because I've been eating as long as I can remember. It's nice to have it confirmed that I know how to eat, or at least have the skills to do so if I so desire. Are you Kanye West? I didn't think I would be. The quiz says that I am definitely not Kanye West. Oh. Which Quentin Tarantino film would you be? And I was like, oh, I want to get Pulp Fiction because it's my favorite film. As I was answering the questions, I didn't quite know how to answer all of them, but then I started to notice certain lines and answers that seemed to lend themselves to Pulp Fiction, and so I selected those instead of the ones I probably would have chosen otherwise, and so my answers were biased, and so I got Pulp Fiction, which makes me happy, but then I don't really know if that's what I should actually be, and so that's another problem I have with these quizzes. It turns out the Quentin Tarantino film that I am is Pulp Fiction. Fiction. Which Pokemon gym leader are you? I wasn't too sure about which gym leader I was wanting, but in the end, the answer I got I was pretty satisfied with. It said I would be Lieutenant Surge, and I was sort of starting to realize that as I was picking the answers. The trash can, Jello, Jolteon. It also said that I rely on my friends. I like my friends, so I guess it sort of describes me, and so I guess not all the BuzzFeed quizzes are that bad. You can take all these quizzes too, I put them down in the doodly doo, but JT and Isaac, I hope you learned a little bit more about me. And JT, I will see you on Friday.